Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Munch Gang. And today, we got the gang with us. We got the gang. In fact, we got the quit squad. Uh, we got the homie coming all the way down from Eugene, Oregon. One of the homies we grew up with skating. We have a lot of history. Um, yeah, he came all the way down to Reading just to see us. But he goes by many names. He actually might have more names in a cemetery. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, we know him as T-Fakes. Some may know him by Chevy. And, you know, if you know him long enough, you might know him by Mac and Jizz. That's, <laughs> that's OG. If you know that, if you know him by that. Oh, man. OG. That's deep. <laughs> Only real ones know about that. <laughs> Damn it, Frankie. <laughs> In the cuts. We are back. Uh, we are also uh, welcomed with Huntrade9 is in the building. Subscribe <laughs> on YouTube. And we got our favorite co host, Koi Say Chow, in the building. You know it. Yeah, you know it. All right, T Fakes. What are you doing? What are you doing in town right now? What? You came down to visit. I know you. You just recently went on a trip, actually, uh, to, where'd you go, Utah or something? Yeah, southern Utah. Yeah. So my mom, she wanted to do a trip out there, so she got, like, an Airbnb, and uh, her husband and their kids went down, too, my grandpa Rick. We did Zion National Park. We did Bryce Canyon. Uh, did it all. We even did some horseback riding, which was pretty insane. Damn. Yeah, my mom was, like, super stoked for that, so she booked it, and... We did the Narrows, we did like a Canyon Overlook hike in Zion, and then we did the Bryce Canyon Amphitheater, did like a almost four mile loop where you get to like drop down and see all the pillars and they call them voodoos, which is like those crazy like, like I don't know, like columns of like rock, you know? Huh. But yeah, that shit was epic, dude. Yeah, did it look like the, what is it, the Stonehenge or something like that? Yeah. The ones where they're all, people assume that they're built from aliens or... I know, seeing those past. photos you post on your story, it look, it look cool out there. Yeah, yeah, I have so much more to go through. How'd you, how'd you hear about those places? Because I don't even... What is it called again? Uh, it's Zion National Park and uh, Bryce Canyon National Park. Wow. Just, um, I don't know, just got into hiking the past couple years, and Southern Utah is like really big for that. And then there's also a couple of YouTube pages that I watch where people roam that area a bunch, so it looks pretty sick. And then... I don't know, me and my girlfriend, we always, we've been to Arizona a couple of times and we, we like the desert and all the pretty red rocks and all that shit. So, yeah, I mean, it's worth it, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so tight out there. It gets hot during the summer. I mean, we're all used to that here coming from Reading triple digits, but I mean. Definitely. Yeah. Dry, dry heat. That's so yeah. weird because you never, I would never plan anything like Utah. That's not even on the menu, you know, when you think of Probably. traveling somewhere. I know, like, they don't smoke weed. It's a dry state, so you can't buy liquor. Is there you know, any Asian people there? Um, the only Asian people <laughs> I saw was my family. Oh, damn. Yeah, just Curtis. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a dry state, so, like, no liquor? No liquor, yeah. What? So, like, Whatsoever? No, not at all. You can buy beer and, like, wine and shit. Damn, I didn't know that. Damn. But, yeah, like, before we crossed the border in Arizona, it was like, last stop for liquor. Oh, and, like, you can get all, all the shit you want because you can bring it into the state and enjoy it like in your home or like in private but you can't like buy it and shit so like just like yeah. no like bars and stuff out there huh no not at all damn yeah i knew that so it's crazy damn people are probably like pretty it's nice good over out there, there though <laughs> yeah everyone's not drunk and mean yeah just everybody's like, driving in the lines and no issues there or horseback riding in the lines whatever they do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. no nah, that shit was sick and then um just rolling back through and getting to spend time with some friends, which I always appreciate, and see some more family. Yeah. Get to hang out with the Quit Squad. Finally. Squad. Dude. Mango Squad. Mango Squad. <laughs> we out here. We've been Not waiting. today, but in spirit. Yeah, in I'm, spirit. I'm Watermelon Squad right now. Yeah. What is this, Passion Fruit? Well, we've all been waiting for this moment for you to come on to this podcast. Everybody, all, all the listeners were like, dude... Because I remember I posted that thing on my story, or on Munch Gang's story. Should we have tea fakes on? Literally, 100% of whoever voted was like, yes. Damn, hell yeah. They I were, feel loved. They were all stoked. 
Damn. But that was months ago. I was about to say, I don't remember that. But. It was months ago. So people <laughs> were like, is that every episode? Every you got to repost that poll so people know. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah, a long, long time in the making. I mean, we talk every day, but yeah. it's just like I'm never here. So it's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Finally made it happen. I'm Finally stoked. made it. The people want to know, man. What it do in Eugene, Oregon? You've been killing it up there, skating at the WJ, skating at Junction, skating at what else? Springfield or something like that. Yeah, Springfield, Harrisburg Park's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's probably like the top four right there. It's like WJ, Springfield, JC, and Harrisburg. And then, I mean, if you want to go anywhere else in the state, they're always building new parks. They got all the gnarly ones on the coast and shit. So yeah. it's pretty crazy. A lot of transitions. So. He said Lincoln City, been, too, but... You've been yeah, working on that transition? Yeah, it was like, I never knew how to, like, skate pool block or anything like that until I moved up yeah. there. Like, we have it at Mount Shasta, but it was, like, so out of our element skating Ando every day. We're like, we're not yeah. going to fucking touch the deep end. Like, that's yeah. death. Like, hell no. Nah. But now I've, like, been skating with a bunch of homies that rip transitions, so they'll get me to scratch the pool block and the pools and stuff, and it's it's sick. It just makes such a good noise. T comfy. T comfy. Getting too comfortable. <laughs> Actually, speaking of T comfy, uh, T fakes, where'd you get the name T fakes from? Um, it's just like an OG name that I think Hunter Spade made up, right? Let him know. Tyler Fakey. Tyler Fakey. All he did was uh, skate Fakey when I met him for years. And it was just T fakes. It just stuck. And now he's just T pro skater, so. He could do any trick, any stance. Just not even. Just T any acronym out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, T anything, T baby. T, t, baby. Yeah, t cry baby. <laughs> t I'm emotional. Whatever. Yeah, especially back in the day. Oh, shit. Those puberty days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I wore my heart on my sleeve around these boys. When I beat so. him at a Battle of the Brotherhood too. Hey, man, that's a touchy oh. subject, brother. <laughs> Cold-blooded. Uh, I should have won. <laughs> Everyone knows that. I Shots fucking I whoop C Rod ass. before it and Hunt Trey comes in and skunks me out of nowhere, dude. Shots fire. Let me look up that. My clip. bad. Yeah. No. Bro, hit that nollie train. That one cuts. Board. I had to fucking uh, <laughs> take. I had to take out Frankie the year before too. So. Oh, that shit cuts deep, dude. We're going deep. We're... I think on camera I throw my board and scream. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that was the one I was filming that I zoomed in too. Just oh, give man. him the fucking trophy. <laughs> Is it on Hunter Nine? No. No, nah, TBSK. Yeah, it should be. Shout out to TBSK all day, sixty nine. Uh, that's so funny though. The boys. Cause like Hunter, so videos on that YouTube. Hunter was always the older dude, and I like wanted Frankie to beat him, like it? older brother shit. And then we yeah, get to the final, and I'm like, oh, I'm about to kick this fool's ass, dude. It's Hunter. Beat him every single day for the past two nah, years. Nah, he never beat me. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> and now then, he yeah. would destroy me any day, any day. But nah, you skunked me fair and swear. There it is. The oh, oh, shit. The the hey, oh, ago. no. Which one is it? This Eight one right years here. Ago, final last, game. Damn, that's Eight good. years ago. 2013? So, yeah. Yeah, you can watch uh, T-Fakes uh, versus C-Rod to justify myself. <laughs> this is T-Baby. Uh, I'm just going to skip right to the end there. <laughs> the Go watch it for part. yourself. Yeah, you can watch the game of skate. You can see why he got so Damn, frustrated. Shit, I filmed it pretty good, too. But uh, <laughs> That JVC camera. There's John, uh, John Michael in the back. Nolly Trey? That was a good attempt, though. You just overflipped it. Dude, oh, you got me skunked. a letter. You, oh, wait. No, you didn't. One didn't, letter. I think he did Nolly Heel or something. I don't know. We got to watch. Through this. his board. Insert the audio. What do you guys hear right now? That boy's skinny as fuck. Slim. I just switched double heel. <laughs> Shout out to C-Rod. Just threw it out there. The fact that he landed a switch double heel. Hunter was skinny as hell, too. Look at him. Damn, pretty dad at, bod, dude. Yeah, pretty dad bod. Look at C Rod. I couldn't Wait. even be in the outro. I was so mad. Oh, damn it! It brought out the chat. Hunter made that trophy too. So I'm taking this shit home. Yeah. Oh is. man, I was yeah. so destroyed, dude. Oh, I got a tuck somewhere. Oh man. Hey, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a new bracket soon. Battle of Brothers. I'm coming for you, dude. Let's back. go. It's a fucking done deal, Hunter. Battle I got like said. ten years of thinking about that shit. Yeah, 10 years. T cry baby and about it. We got to bring it back. It lit a fire within T fakes, though. <laughs> yeah. It motivated From him. From that to moment, get to where he is. He got good at skating. And I just got. He proved Huntrey wrong. He's like. Not really, but. 
Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Anyways. <laughs> That was a good time. Some good memories. Uh, oh, that shit was great. Yeah, you were so angry because you knew you had the tricks, but sometimes those tricks don't got you. I mean, you know when you're just 13, 14, and you really fucking care about something like with all your heart, and then you just lose? Hey, looking yeah. back at it, though, you're like, damn, I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm glad like I'm, all, I'm not like that anymore, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. I freaking... Yeah, I mean, skateboarding is really hard. We've all had our fair share of tempered tantrums, but yeah. I feel like I've had my fair share of more. It's yeah. just because, like, I know deep down in my person that I could fucking do it and uh, that I just can't, yeah. which is, like, destroying. But uh, definitely now that I'm older, like, I just either, like, stop trying the trick, be like, oh, it's just not the day for it. Mm-hmm. Or I just, mm-hmm. just, like, be like, skateboarding's really fucking hard, and yeah. I need to give myself some credit that I'm trying this, like, like, pretty fucked up manual trick or some shit like that so i've gotten better yeah, yeah too many battles we experienced so like we know now yeah like, straight up dude not even tripping about it but like koi was always like cool calm and collected he was just like he had 100 percent confidence yeah. in his head and he can do it where it's like i'm always doubting myself in my brain well, when like, you land all everything the time. third try then you don't gotta <laughs> worry about shit yeah for at real. the same time though like once you realize the longer you try something for so long Especially like gaps and stairs, like you realize you get sore, so it motivated me to like commit more each try to like land it. So that's what my mindset was like. That works know, for stuff. you. That's awesome, but <laughs> most people. That's what I'm saying. though, like they got a battle shit. It motivated me more to like stick it at least yeah, at each try it. versus mm-hmm. like kicking out because you know what you're doing wrong kicking out. You're not committing. You're hesitating. So at, for me personally, I just like block that hesitation out i'm like all right either stick it or slam so it just worked out for me favorite your your favorite words you just got to visualize visualize just visualization is a process though because you got to see yourself doing it in order to like do it at the end yeah that's the cool thing about skateboarding man easier said than done though because like i say that a lot but i've had dreams about shit and then just done it the next day oh damn just because i like literally felt myself do it in a dream you think you th- do you think skateboarding helped you with like growth in like your personality or like your your work ethic and you know just just being a stronger human being i think so it's just if you can kind of think about like how hard it is to learn how to kick flip at first just trial and trial and trial and error error though, error, yeah. error it's like if you can put that into any other aspect of your life, like you should be fucking chilling, dude. Yeah. So it's like right now I'm in welding school and, and welding is really hard. And I just think about it like skating. Like if I fuck up, then it's like, damn, like that was a kickflip that just like I did the kickflip, but it was ugly as hell. But I like want to do the kickflip and like make it look buttery, you know, mm-hmm. so. Make it steezy. Make it steezy. Dang, that's what you're doing up in Oregon? Yeah. In welding? Just, What's the what's the coolest thing you've welded? I don't know. Like a lot of it's just school stuff right now, so it's like little coupons and like projects and stuff like that. But probably just our fabrication projects that we do. Mm. It's just like little challenges and shit. But it just puts like it's just different for your brain, you know. And like not going to school for so long and then having to do all these like numbers and fractions and shit. I was like, oh man, like yeah, I haven't mathed in so long. (laughs) (laughs) So, but it's pretty cool. I'd probably say the coolest thing that I've made is just, like, little shit, like, piggy banks and shit like that. But we had a final project that we had to, like, weld a tank and then do a pressure test on it. So you, like, sit there with a bike pump and you, like, weld a bung onto it. Uh You pump it up and then you spray soap around all the edges that you welded. like bubbles, huh? Yeah. And I had zero leaks in mine, so I was, like, fucking super hyped. Yeah. T precision. How many PSIs did it go up to you? I don't know, but I was pumping and pumping and pumping. And I was like, oh, shit, there's no leaks. And once I took it out, it was like, Psh, like, hella loud. And I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Like, it was holding, so. Did everyone in the class do, was, like, pretty good, too? I mean, there's, like, a couple kids who had some leaks and stuff like that. But it was, like, a, it was like a letter grade for each leak that you had in that section. You say A+, plus, huh? Yeah, so I was, like, stoked oh, yeah. to get the A on that. So. Yeah. What's up? That's a pretty good distraction, though, because uh, recently, weren't you, you were, like, healing up from an injury, or didn't you get hurt? Should yeah, go? like, uh, like over the winter, I had toe issues, and it being cold, and trying to work, and all that shit, like, I wasn't really skating, and then, uh, yeah, I started skating again, 
for like two or three weeks and then I ended up breaking my hand. No. Trying to skate. Yeah, street spot. It was like super weird. It was like skating be brutal. Yeah, at this school and there's like a like a window frame or something that stuck out like an inch or two. And I was skating this bench that was up against the wall and my hand just perfectly caught it. Spiral fractured my third metacarpal and I had to get three pins in it. Is it still in there? Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. So, yeah. Fucking cyborg, dude. For real, I'm bionic now. You could weld it in there. <laughs> 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 Fucking like striking an arc on my hand, like. <laughs> Let's see how many psi's this can get. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. But you're still skating. You're still killing it up there. Um, you recently just also dropped the part. I don't even know if it's recently. It's been so long, but you dropped the part maybe less than a year ago. I want to say. Right? Yeah, it's been like six months. Oh, six months. Yeah beautiful part by the way thank you frankie uh, should we watch it should yeah dude it? i'm down let's should have coulda woulda shoulda 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 coulda woulda so yeah highlight clips right type. now so uh the name behind shoulda coulda woulda is because in eugene there's a skate shop called all monty skate shop and the owner ryan like i was like yeah i'm trying to film trying to get all this footage and i had footage for a different video that kind of never really came out and was filming for this and the skate shop actually closed down and then reopened under another name called Rival, which is still there. So go so check them out. Bought out huh, by different uh, owners. Kind of like much? taken over, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't really know how everything worked out in that way, but what's the best thing to type to look it up? Because I typed in um, shoulda coulda. That's on your, your probably my YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yeah, just Tyler yeah. Paw. His government name. But you yeah, you guys now know his real name. <laughs> Tyler Balls. Tyler Balls. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, it was basically like my shoulda, coulda, woulda, all Monty skate shop part. Like they closed down before I there could put is. it out. So that's not oh, that's channel. not it. Bro, that's got a doppelganger that streams video video games. That's crazy. I think it's that one with no uh, this one? profile pic. Yeah, cyborg. You got seven whole subscribers. Oh, oh no, Koba. How many Tyler balls? Oh, I there? can't see. Damn, fool! You need glasses too? No. <laughs> Hell no! I don't need glasses. That type it wrong. Yeah. The, this will put balls. Balls. Uh, <laughs> like balls. Like I said. There it is. Right there. Artist you box sheet. Ledge line. Hey, watch that line though. Watch, watch it. Watch my ledge line, dude. I, I think I filmed this. When is that? 10 years ago. Oh, oh, ledge no. oh my nice. gosh. Look at that quality. GoPro 1. Dude, this half cap was so good. Hey, the, oh. quality, the quality is still good though. Look at that. That's like 720p. Yeah. I'm going like, Mach GoPro 10, one. you guys. Look how fast right. I'm going. Yeah, GoPros are good. This is oh. the first one too. And I beam the camera like, did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> we got all the old clips on there. That's dope. That's for a different day though, but yeah. Uh, what, is it this one right here? No. Here, I'll... Right, right there. there. Oh, right here. Chevy's, shoulda, coulda. There it is. One take artsy. The water bottle. I don't even know how to look up my own part. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go full screen. But yeah, Tim Gosh, McCoy. That's in the background? Tim McCoy film and edit and everything and uh my girlfriend Sydney she did the the words intro the animations nice so it was cool like had everyone shout out involved Tim and Sydney man shout out Suds it's funny how like some switch tricks are easier huh like nollie heel and switch heel yeah versus regular heel flip I hate regular heel flips So what made you choose this song? That song's um, sick. It's a built to spill song, but the <laughs> lyrics kind of like represent like how I was feeling in my head where it's just like, just I don't know, just like sadness, confusion, just That's like sick. feeling Steve. half Shuffle right. Wait, body let me go back. Nick, Shuffle body burial. Me and Koi have been going through this crazy debate. After RT we, face, what would you call that trick you just did? Wait, don't say anything. Let me describe what's going to what's happening right now uh, let him let him explain to us what that trick is first well let me tell him our story about no let let let, let him say front his nose what out yeah we saw what'd you do out what trick was that right there i i call it a biggie front nose shove fakey. yeah shove fakey. yeah shove fake explain yourself frankie Sp- explain your debate uh me i would definitely call that a shove for show all right frankie explain not your... a sex change that is a body burial Cause look, Please you're bored. Is that the same trick? Comes back the yeah. same way it came in. But he been into it. See, look. 
You, know you are but correct you, on that. But now your that body you think section, about it. See. Yeah, the board comes back to straight, but my but my body goes to regular or to fakey. Excuse so what's me. what's the verdict on? What's that, a fakey yeah? back to body barrier or shove? What is that? Oh man, it's whatever you want it to be. That's what I told Frankie. It's a skateboarding maneuver. Comment below. We probably want to put this in, but we we'll just let him know. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, that was a good part though. It's Thank a you. Part. Yeah, yeah, that that last trick was tough. Like, saw Rob Wells do it in the Lakai video. Yeah, right, it was. Fucking fakey like full cap, skaters, fakey manny. Know how tough that trick is. Yeah. In and general, like just landing. Yeah. And I did a couple where I half capped out, but I just like really wanted to come out straight yeah. or to fakey. So I fucking worked for it. I, I completely cooked a set of wheels power sliding so much that session. I had to go yeah. get a new set. Yeah, coming out fakey is like way more difficult. Yeah, fucking spinal. But only skaters know how difficult that trick is, though. Or skating in general. How, how long do you think you were working on that part for? How long did it take to film all those clips? I don't know. Like, like probably, like, honestly, like, oh, year? like, I got some footage. Like, we should try and do something with it. Like, maybe a year. Probably, like, a year. But I don't know. It's just, like, weather permitting. I mean, there's a lot of winter months where we didn't skate much. And then yeah, it'd be summertime, we would fucking get it. Yeah. Compared to here, like, we get rain, but most of the time in Reading, it's, like, sunny. Yeah. But yeah. spot wise though up there is different, so you're like you're exposed to more new spots, so it makes yeah. you think creative. Yeah, we. Creative. Yeah, especially going up there because it's like, you know, skating and reading. We skate the same spots over mm-hmm. and over again. But once I got up there, it was like I was like a happy puppy. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. everything I went and skated was new, brand new. You yeah. skate down the street, dude. I've never seen that before. Yeah, you know, because like for us, like we know where everything is. So when we think about trying something, it's like I don't know. That's like, worth it. Nah, yeah, or yeah. like we've done that already or yeah. something. You know, we've done it before. I don't know. Skating is just about one upping your like own ability, so it's kinda we're like harder on ourselves, like thinking about stuff. Yeah. At least for me I am. I don't know about everyone else. Plus but. it like opened up spots for me to do tricks that I've always wanted to do, but I just yeah. never had the spot. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like the That was like, a plus too, yeah, that's what I was getting to because like exposed to like new spots so it kinda opens your like freaking variety of like what you should try and stuff fuck yeah and then sometimes the spot just tells you what to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's the sickest thing where you're like oh this spot's sick like this would really be dope on it and then your homie's like yeah you, you could should. probably do that and then you you fling a couple and then you're like all right like maybe i can fucking do it and then you do it and you're juiced like there's one clip in there uh it's like a roll on grind and then i like the narrow challenge one yeah it's like a roll on grind and then i like right onto a like a grate and then i ollie a flat gap oh, but yeah, it was yeah. like every day at work i drove by that thing and i was like i wonder if you just break that thing up slap it and then ollie the gap and like for like so long i thought about it and then one night it was like midnight and i was like yo let's go do it and i like bricked it lactered it dug out the curb were you asking people go- if they skated at that spot prior before you try that i knew nobody had skated it It was like literally just on the side of sixth street like he said so, first one to send it yeah Damn. so Fixed it up and got the clip that night, and then oh yeah, never went back. I don't know if I got anything else for it. One and done. Go go watch the part. Yeah, anybody out Should've, there? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. If you guys don't know T Fakes, or if bio. you do, and you didn't know he had clips like that, go check out his new video. And uh, what's it called? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Chevy's shoulda, coulda. Add his Instagram. Woulda. other t fake t fakes when, when was the first time you kind of remember meeting us for the first time and you know started skating well i met koi at school it was like rother fourth or fifth grade and then started skating together i think uh there's a homie named miguel who skated and then he knew koi skated and the koi was like yeah i think that dude skates and then we ended up meeting after school at the usa market we played a game of skate i won oh yeah, don't forget win. And then uh, Koi knew about you, and then I knew about Hunter from the YouTube videos and shit, and then I met him as a really little kid, like, skating in Westwood Village, because I would see him and this other dude named Antone, like, just killing it, fucking doing all this shit. They would drag the box out there. 
they would skate the drop and i was like these dudes are so good they actually got me to ollie the drop one day i was like i don't know maybe like 12 or something and i did it my mom was there and she was like you need a helmet and like all this shit and then hunter is like no your kid's sick dude like so and then i don't remember meeting you for the first time it may have been probably like a skate trip i don't remember that either i do remember one time it was behind 99 cent store and um koi was like yo i'm gonna go skate with these dudes we're meeting them at the 99 Damn, cent store that cold that yeah day. Felt hella bad. never forget so i skate all the way from my dad's house because koi's like it, fool. yeah we're skate all the way because koi's like we're skating with the store. with the fucking older dudes like come get it and then so i skate yeah. all the way across town we get there and they're like we're gonna go to boulder creek and i'm like boulder creek and they're like we don't have any room in the car though <laughs> so koi gets to go well, I don't get to go. And it was the day that Izzy heel, heel flipped the eight stair. And I was like, you motherfucker, I got to, I missed that shit. Damn. I could have saw that in person. Because when you hit, Frankie <laughs> hit me up, he's like, you trying to skate? Meet us at 99 cents store. So I automatically assumed it was just Frankie and his buddy, which was Izzy at the time. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know anyone else was in the car. So I hit up Tyler. I was like, hey, I'm about to go skate with Frankie and Izzy. Like, come skate to, uh, meet us at 99 cents store. This is way before we had cars and stuff. So he lived on off Shasta View. And then he, so he skated from Shasta View to 99 Cent Store, which is like damn near a mile and a half. Yeah. No more like two miles. That, for but sure. it was the middle of summer, so it was for days. But when you came and picked us up, who yeah. was with us? Kyle and someone else. I don't remember. Probably the Kyle. Kyle was full, though. Is he? It was five people deep. Maybe, probably Ryan Barrows, I want to say. I think it was, too. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, like, I felt hella bad because I was like, damn. I was like, there's not enough room. Yeah, how'd that make you and feel? And at that point, at that point though, it was too late because he was already on his way. But then the other homie... Uh, so they just left you, did you? No, he was with the homie Tim. Yeah, me and Tim. So they went back to but... his apartment and swam oh, or something. Man. Yeah, uh, exactly. We went and fucking swam, but... but I felt hella bad, so though. bummed, dude. Because I was like, no, this looking is back my at time, it, dude. I get to I skate with the older too. dudes. But dude, there was like nothing I could have done, could have done, because I was like, damn, it's not my car, yeah, it's not my room, <laughs> but I'm gonna go. So, like, no, well, <laughs> well, you could have made the decision, like, you know what, I'll stay with you, T fakes. But you said, nah, no, nah, I don't blame him, dude. I probably would have done the same though, shit. I like, I'm gonna go skate, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt all the bad though thinking about it. I was like, damn. That man really skated. Cold blooded, cold blooded. <laughs> yeah, because that was about the time when you guys were really trying to get into skateboarding, and yeah. like me, Hunter, Izzy, and all of us were already like far into it. So we've been skating for a long time, and you guys are just trying to catch up to. Not maybe. only that, he skated on his cruiser and carried his board too, <sighs> and had his backpack, so he's already ready. Just keeps getting worse. <laughs> so I was like, damn, this man skipped like two miles for. No- Do you want to apologize now? This doesn't apologize for because. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame him if you did the same thing, but damn. I just damn. felt hella bad afterwards. Because like, when you're young, you don't really think about it. You're hella yeah. selfish, you know? You're like, all right, there's Whatever. nothing I can say right now, but I'm leaving. So yeah. I mean, I didn't really fucking trip about it. I was just like... You I did. Would, it was honestly... I didn't know, though, because Frankie was like, he like, let's go skate. Meet us at 99 cents store. So I was like, automatically invite him. So I did the right thing as a homie, you know? I'm about to go skate, so I'm going to tell the homie come skate, too. But Yeah, I didn't feel any despair. It was all just like... FOMO, like fear of missing it just, out. It just, just like sucked, I, was though, I was like, damn. Yeah, and you're so I close. Didn't, I didn't know the car was already full, so I was like, all right, come skate. Because I didn't know we're, uh, we're going to a different spot. So, I, yeah. I bet, yeah, the whole time you're skating, the whole, it probably took you what, an hour and a half. You're Not all, even that. I was fine. I was skating. I was like, fuck it. I'm out here. I'm skating. But now thinking about it, I'm like, damn, that's just fucked up. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I skated that far, I'm like, this motherfucker, dude. You I skated like two miles it. for no reason. Yeah, you're like, dude. In I middle can't. of summer, too. But back then, though, when you're young, you skate for days and, like, not really think about anything. Yeah. But looking back at it now, like, you're like, damn. I yeah, really I did t- we had too much energy back then. Maybe that's why Koi got the advantage. He's like, I need, this is my chance to get better. <laughs> so he got a little head start skating with this. One time, though, freaking, this guy lived on Placer. He's like, I'm about to go eat Denny's with my homies, with my band homies. I was like, all right, then. Skated all the way over there. I had to skate from Placer to my house. I was like, damn, it's over. Damn. So you gave him that payback then, huh? Wait, when was this? I'm, I remember after school, we got picked up by your mom. And then when you got, when you guys had the house on Placer. Yeah. You're like, I'm about to go. You're like, I'm about to actually go uh, have dinner with my, home, my friends. 
And then uh And then I was like skate to my house. Yeah, I skated over <laughs> there. And then I skated back. God damn it. Damn. No, That's think, cold I blooded. We, I think we got a ride from your mom, like after school. So we rode there to the plaster and then uh skated back home. Oh Cause yeah. we skated at the park and then you're like, I'm about to go uh go eat with the band homies. I was like, alright, I'm gonna go home then. Yeah. And you that, none skated of my all the way home. Pick me up, so I had to like skate all all the way from Placer to uptown. Oh man, I don't remember that. Now I feel bad. But also like payback. Yeah, come on. I wanted to. Not see even heel. know it was payback, but in a way, like you already had your own plan, so I wasn't gonna like. All right, what the fuck? What's Dude, gonna happen? I didn't get to see Izzy heel flip the eight in person. I think that's. I'm a gonna be day. pissed forever. No, yeah. I feel like that was a different day. No, no, it was that day, dude. I'll never forget it. I'll never fucking because you told me about it. You're like, and you'll flip, and Izzy, Izzy he'll flip the Shout out Izzy, sticker. man. <laughs> Izzy was, hey, man, if you're watching this, you, Izzy was buck back then. Hi, Izzy. Hi. So, Frankie, hey. let him know who, who is the quit squad. So, the quit squad Let's consists track, of the six, oh. six amigos here. Did we not mention this earlier? I don't think so. Don't think that was so. take five. This is take eight. So <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Uh, yeah, the quit squad consists of six of the homies, <laughs> all of us skating together. Uh, we just created this this beautiful, <laughs> basically, orchestra of human beings that had <laughs> their each individual skills. Those are not so, <laughs> so we all kind of matched up together, but uh, we all had our own styles. We all had our own skills, but um, I was the best one. Uh, we had... <laughs> Still he ain't is. lying though, man. He's the best one. Still is. We had the homie T fakes right here. We had me, of course. We had Huntre Nine. Yep. We got Koi Se Chow and the two other homies that aren't here today. Uh, Three. Izzy Zavala and Josh Fitzgerald. Was there an extra one that I'm missing? Uh, honorable mention, Will Will. Honorable mention. And Dagfish. He Dag reps Quit too. Squad harder than anybody, bro. Yeah, true. Shout out Dagfish. I'm not sure. I think gave to him. Sure. Oh yeah, he definitely is repping it. Yeah, but yeah. OG squad, we've been skating together for ten years. I don't know what happened. Yeah, every ten years. You guys saw the beanie the one somewhere. I don't throw. I still anything, got mine. Right? I think I gave my beanie back to you or something. Oh no, I did. I made different beanies and then uh, I still have all those. But the original one. one, I'm not sure what happened. To that. I don't have the OG one, the but there's that other one with the leather thing. You 2014 had. version. I don't know what happened to the beanie. That's in the vault somewhere. Yeah, basically, Quit Squad was uh, the dopest skate team in Redding, California. Ever. Better than True Crew. Ever was, ever will be. Shout out True Crew. Yeah, fuck True Crew. I don't think any, any <laughs> no, of kidding. the people that True Crew is watch this video, so it doesn't matter. So. Oh, yeah, they won't watch this. Anyways, there was one time I was at Anderson and fucking Jaron Drennan was there. And he was like the True Crew filmer. Yeah. And he was like... You should ollie the six foot to flat, and I'll put it you in the next True Crew video. And I've never done it before. And I fucking did it. It took me like four or five tries, but it was a big drop. I think he's still kid. fat to this day. Now I fucking watch, uh, tune in to the new True Crew video and don't see my clip. And I was no. like, oh my God. Did they ever come with him? No way. Uh, oh, uh, shout out uh, Jaron Drennan, though, for show, because Isaiah Starris, too. Yeah, Isaiah. But yeah. Uh, Jaron gave me the tattoo. I kind of stole. No, he. I kind of kind of stole his idea of a month edits because he was already doing them, and then uh, when I got a camera, I was like, "Fuck, that. that's pretty sick!" Like we could just film all month and then just post it. Dang. I stole the idea from Jaren, basically. That's crazy. That's news to me. I yeah, didn't know that. Oh really? Yeah. So uh, shout out Drent, uh, Jaren Drent. Like a tattoo artist now or something. Yeah, he gave yeah. me my first tat. Oh, for real? Really? Yeah. Frankie too, huh? And Frankie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Yeah, man. See, that was my first. I don't think he's gonna see this, but shout out him. Maybe you yeah. never know. I, I, it's hard to decipher like who listens because there's so many. <laughs> yeah, there's so there's millions. There's so many listeners. It's like, once you have like over four hundred uh, subscribers, then it's over. It's hard to keep track after that. Um, yeah, those are some beautiful memories. Uh, great times. We always went out of town to skate. We did. You know those monthly montages on YouTube. Check those out if you want to see the growth from when Koi was a toddler, when T Fakes was a toddler. Me and even me and Huntre, we were when we were, we were middle younger. aged. Yeah, <laughs> middle aged. Frankie has some trick tips, man. If you if you want to know how to nollie crook, then go back in there. Oh, check I can it see out. it. 
Learn how to backside flip and fakey bigger flip. Yeah, I'll teach you how to fakey bigger flip. Dude. Yeah, did I do a trick tip? On hey, my name is T Fix, and I'm gonna teach you how to fakey bigger flip. Yeah, he said Cottonwood drop. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think I did a kickflip back five zero trick, trick tip. tip. I haven't done that shit since. <laughs> then. Oh, yeah, I was always jealous of that one. That was around the same time as a Nolly Crick trick tip. Yeah, that was like the same skate every day. Basically. Yeah, same day. Uh, you got to put the the sound bite of Russell going. Now you there. now you got to know how to crook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to know how to crook. Insert clip. <laughs> Shout out Russell Spade. Yeah. Shout out. Uh, yeah. Check out those videos if you want to check them out. Hunter Nine. Some of the videos are also on TBSK sixty nine. Those are TBSK all day. All day. Oh, TBSK. Yeah, all day sixty nine. And uh, and Izzy's channel too. What was Izzy's Zavala. You got to insert them bearings. in the bio. Yeah. The YouTube links. Izzy Zavala slash Broken Bearings. Yep. Those are the best videos. Like, yeah, we, was we strong. made a, a month edit every month for five years straight. Yep. Like me and them. And then we filmed a full length. Yeah. And then we shut that down because, I don't know, my camera would retired. Broke, and then... Put it to rest. We are like, let's just film this full length, which was Where's the Sesh? Yeah. Went ham on that shit though. Fuck. Yeah. That like Fuck yeah. Two and a half, Koi and three T Fakes went in on that shit. Go watch it. It was really good memories. It's just a, a good representation of just a like a lot of battles. The newer Reading skateboarding because you had all the older stuff and they kind of had like sick juniors and stuff. Like watching Ray's yeah. episode, like you all talk about that a lot. Yeah. But it was like I feel like we were the first ones to put out a Reading full length video. Like in a At long the same time, time though, in a the feed was yeah. there too, but it was different. That was a lot of New York. Like Christian sure. had a lot of yeah, New sure, York Christian. homies in that, but I mean, it was, it did showcase it was like Reading a half and, and half, yeah. And then I think of Robbie as just Red Bluff, you know. Yeah, but, but he is sort of like our generation though coming up. Yeah. So what you're saying is, we were the local scene thanks to us. Skateboarding is still alive <laughs> here in Redding, California. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Shout out Ray's Borshaw, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, Shout out Quit Squad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, you have a pretty Shit valid point there because there's a point in time where we there's nobody really else out there like there's filming. There's nobody filming or skating, filming really. Clips, yeah. yeah, I don't think there wasn't. And uh, I guess Hunter was one of those pioneers to post those clips on YouTube. And thankfully, he did because now when we look back on those clips, we're like, dude, remember, like you guys will remember... March 2014, exactly yeah. what trick you did at three <laughs> it's minutes. It's like a catalog of what we did every month <laughs> for like Even years. still, like, not yeah. that many. I don't think barely anyone. And then every clip from the month, like, oh, this is what we did that day. Oh, this would, you know, it's like. Also, just thinking about memories. pre Instagram that, like, we would religiously go film clips yeah. and Huntre would just go put them on our computer and then we would just wouldn't think about it just waiting for the month edit yeah and it's like i posted some instagram clips the other day i landed those tricks 20 minutes before i posted that shit damn it's just like a whole different world dude like like back then i was like oh let's you know i we waited all month i'm like a month is a long ass time like but now it's like i can't even get a clip every six months i'll be happy you know what i mean it's like Yeah. Times has changed it was though, like, crazy definitely. how much clips that we accumulated. Yeah, go film street parts, kids. Yeah. It'll definitely teach you something else. Save your clips, yeah. Yeah. I know you want that instant gratification because you're super stoked on the trick you just landed. But if you put it all together in this basically a compilation, save it up, and it's just more exciting for mm-hmm. you and also other people to see it all in one thing because it's like you see more of the the work all put together into into one rather than just one. You'll clip, you'll like, look back on it more yeah. too, like time capsule. Yeah, I'll go watch our, our old videos and be like, damn, like remember that day? Yeah. How you felt that day? Yeah, the struggle. Instead of just like an Instagram, but no one's going back and looking at your Instagram. Yeah, those Instagram yeah. clips. They'll are, look at it, swipe by, next attention like, span. Yeah, Instagram clips are easy to easy to forget for sure. Yeah, every time I just want some like pure nostalgia, I'm just like Huntray Nine. Just feel it like is, I'm 14 yeah. again, it's just skating with the homies. Yeah, I don't even remember half the shit that like we filmed. Like I, 
And the stuff <laughs> so that you forget. So many skate trips. Like, we went to Sacramento, like, That's so like many times. Like, every skate, go skate day. Like, we would go out and then go skate trip. So it's yeah. kind of dope. Yeah. Yeah, always hit a different city. This man took a shower on the Yuba City Skate Park. Freaking found <laughs> Dude, we all used to do that. It was I like, didn't do that. Oh. It's like where they baptize people at the church, I'm pretty sure. And we, we were just pretty fucking much got swimming baptized, that like five shit. Times. <laughs> yeah. I remember we freaking ended up like rinsing off at Preston's apartment pool shower, remember? Yeah. 2015. Yeah, when he was living there. That's how hot that is. Ah, oh, so funny. See, he knows the year, he knows the month. Like, it's crazy how this shit sets you back. Like, it's good to have those memories. Because I have a bad memory. So just looking back at this shit's like, okay, yeah, now it just. It's like we only remember the. Good times in mm-hmm. certain years when you think about it. Yeah. Because well, like, it's all me us, losing in battle with the brotherhood. The I'll never forget <laughs> that. <laughs> but all That's of us a different remember subject. like certain times of that point. Because yeah. you might say, oh, you remember this time? And then all of us are there, but only you yeah. remember it. Yeah, because vice versa. It's good to see, it's cool to see those different eras too. Because yeah. there's there's the era of just me, Hunter, and you know somebody else, and then all of a sudden you guys pop up and then yeah. the next year for some reason i learned how to do varial heels and then i'm like what i had varial heels on march and then after Dude, that, i lost so disappears. many tricks since then but like just knowing i had them at one point it's like hey, I did yeah, it back fuck then. yeah dude. <laughs> i did it one time in 2014 so hey switch pop show. enough oh yeah dude, switch yeah. pop show varial. this man did it online i was like damn Switch pop shove the six second try. That's still bug. I ain't throwing that shit down the stairs. No, no, switch flip the six second. Maybe try. switch front shove, but not switch back shove. That's way more difficult. I don't even know. Now I can't switch do any of that shit. That was bug. I was like, damn. Damn. Uh, speaking of those clips, um, yeah, it's cool to see those memories. But you said you you post a lot of your clips on Instagram now, right? I mean, yeah, I, I don't really. I try not to like focus about it, like, but. I mean, after I put out that part, I haven't really been motivated to go street skate very much. Like, I want to be a part of, like, community projects, but I feel like it's kind of hard to get kids out of the skate parks and into the streets. Yeah. It's a whole different world, so. But, like, lately I've just been, I'm just like, if you want to see me do a fake hat, fakey full cap, fakey mani, go watch my part. But, right. like, I'm just, like, trying to go skate and have fun lately, especially after breaking my hand, so that was a little rough. Yeah. But, yeah. It's a different story up there, too, because, like, is, is there a lot of rain or snow? Oh, yeah, it rains a bunch. I mean, Redding is, like, I don't know, like, like 300. Like, top 10 cities of, like, sunniest weather. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. 300 days of sun, and then Eugene is, like, you know, well over 250 or 200 days of rain. It's, like, com- almost the complete opposite. Yeah, definitely. So wow. it took me a second to get used to, but it's, like, when the weather does get good, and like the sun right now, comes out, out there yeah it's fucking go time like 80 so it's 90 like, degrees compared to here yeah so like we've been skating we've been biking we've been hopping in the river it's kind of all in the same zone uh shout out lagerfeld and co those are my boys also the empty safe crew those are also my boys once nice. it hits like november yeah. and like etc it's like getting rainy and cloudy yeah now. so like not this winter but the winter before was the wettest spring that oregon had in 91 years mm-hmm. so it like rained well into like march april may and it was like june it was still raining it's like good like, but shitty the at the same time like, for like outdoor stuff huh yeah but it's like when you want to skate and it's raining early june you're just like dude turn it off yeah. man like fucking i want to get outside Last summer, so. huh? Yeah, last year, and then this this winter kind of lingered a little bit, but we did have some, like, fake springs for, like, a week. We'd be like, yeah. oh, sick, let's go, and then it would start pissing again, and you're like, fuck. Oh. So. That's that's probably why the uh, WJ is built underneath a skate park, or, or not a skate park, underneath a bridge, right? Yeah, it definitely helps, like, if you want to get it when it's raining, like, you can still at least, like, skate the mini bowl or skate the mani pad or skate the pool in the back. So. Does it does it build up in there like the water? Is there puddles and stuff still? Even though it's under the mist, the, though, huh? Once the mist build up, it's yeah, slippery. it only gets bad when it's misty like that. And sometimes, like, the park will literally like buttery. sweat. Hmm. Like I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it won't be raining, but it'll like be moist. Like and a that sponge, huh? Yeah, I don't know, but just so like much moisture in the air, it just, it'd be hu- more yeah, humid. Yeah, it just there, drops and builds up. But I mean, that park is so slick as it is. So you add water, and it's just it's so dangerous. Like I've seen so many people get smoked who like aren't locals, and they'll yeah. just like go to hit the bank wall full Kicks speed when there's like little droplets of rain. Just die. As soon as you see the tire tracks from your wheels. 
get the fuck off the park because you'll just it's like ice it's so dangerous i've seen so many people get smoked and i'm just like i already know what's gonna happen so you just look away yeah Yeah, i'll be like hey be careful like it's definitely slick as fuck over there and they just like will ignore me and get smoked and i just can't feel bad because i warned them kick turn hall and just die yeah and then they'll just like their back wheels will just keep turning Uh and they'll just Get Back three, loop out. Yeah. yeah. So, so with the snow, is there? Do uh, you ever bring like a snowboard or something to the park? No. <laughs> Dude, would that be crazy? No. Do, I mean, pe- do other people do that? No. I mean, like Eugene's only like five hundred feet elevation. Oh, so it's, it's like the low, same man, as huh? here. Yeah. But like, as soon as you take any highway towards like Bend and you go up in elevation, it fucking snows. But like, it's still pretty rare for it to snow in Eugene, like on the regular. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know, I feel like we've gotten at least one snow each year that I've been Because, like, there. once you pass, like, Medford, it starts getting flat, huh? Because, like, the elevation-wise? Because Medford be getting pretty hot, too, doesn't it? Yeah, Medford's hella hot. Yeah. And then, like, after you get through, like, like Medford... Like, after Mount Shasta, it gets, like, flat, huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah, and then I-5, like, takes a hard left, like, towards Grant Pass. So we're only an hour from the coast. Because that one park, didn't we skip so. Medford Park? When we got pulled up by the freaking... That was uh, that security guard. Oh, that was pop? that was Roseburg. Roseburg, yeah, that's Roseburg. what it was. That park. That dude was so Remember aggro. We're all oh, driving yeah. to the cemetery. He's like, oh, yeah, because the so, said my window don't roll down. Yeah, so we got pulled like, over. Damn. We're driving down this random dirt road that for some uh, it reason it wasn't a dirt road. It was, was like a cemetery. A, no, it, it was, was like a, a it was like a road through like this medical building. All right, all right, all right. It was a city park. And we were going through it. No. Yes, it was, dude. It was like medical buildings I fucking lived on the there. left. And were, not even. And it was like grass. I thought it was a cemetery or something. It was not a cemetery. And I was going like 20 miles an hour. And uh, this yeah, cop pulls us nowhere. over. And I was like, yeah, what's up? Like, uh, he like walks up to the, to the window. And then I go to open my door. And he's like, don't fucking open your door. Like. Like, other dude steps back, like, pulls his gun. And I was like, whoa, like, what the fuck? And he's like, roll down your window. I was like, it doesn't roll down. That's why I went to open my door, like, so I could talk to you. And then he's like, oh, there's five of you, and there's only two of us. And we're all just scrawny, tiny little fucking skater kids. And yeah, his car doesn't have any tent, so he's seen, like, everyone, like, in the car. Yeah, we're just sardine style in the back, and... And he was like, why are you going so fast or something? And I was like, I was going like 20 trying to go to the skate park. He's <laughs> like, the speed limit's like 10 or 15. And yeah, I was like, I was, slow. I was like, I'm not from here. Like, I don't know the speed limit. He's like, oh, that, uh, I was like, I didn't see any signs. He's like, it's posted, but it's on the back. It was, you guys remember that? Oh, uh, yeah. It was yeah, on the back side. So how are we going to see? So it, the sign would be like something on this side and then the, the speed limit would be on the back. So but we came from the other way. So, we so can't I, see I was like, I didn't see any signs posted. I didn't know how fast. I was going like 25, maybe. Mm. It was like kind of a residential, but it was like medical buildings, I feel like, or something. But yeah, just the way it happened, it was like pretty hectic. We're like, damn, this man. Was he got yeah, scared. he was on some shit. I'm like, bro, like, we're just trying to find the skate park. And then he's like, oh, it's like right around the corner. And it was all trying to be chill. I was like, dude, what the fuck? You just pulled your gun out on He's like, next like, time, don't do that. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. At the same time, though, you can't blame him because you never know, you know? Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. the speed limit. You got to fucking post that shit. So, yeah, at the same time, you can't blame him because he's just trying to be cautious. But then also, what car were you driving? It was the, the wagon. The wagon, yeah. Yes, the wagon was like this old beat-up car. Kind of uh, it was like falling. a tweaker car. But it looked like a tweaker car if you were to roll up from behind. What's the wagon? Oh, that's right before the island. So that's why yeah, he probably took wagon. a little bit of caution. <laughs> But I was like, was like that dude, campground? I, he's like, roll down your window. I'm like, don't roll down. That's why I'm trying to open the door. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. homie was angry. Yeah, that took us a freaking hell of a spot, though. So. The yeah. wagon, RIP. So many. Only one window rolled down. No AC <laughs> midsummer, dude. Skated on Sweat top of the wagon. <laughs> the yeah. left the left passenger window only o- open. Yeah. yeah the, we'll the be back. dying, dude. Whoever sent passenger up front, dying. That car was crazy. I just made the work, all black. Sweating for the sesh, heaven. Dude, speaking of bad cars, remember your Suzuki? No. <laughs> hey, that, that thing car, was so sick. That thing was crazy. That car didn't go fast, but it took its places. I was just stoked I had a car, dude. I was dude. like, oh my. Once you resprayed it, Frankie's picking me up. Let's yeah. go. Like, 
The spray window, paint in his car? The windows like, were off track, too. This man had the pencil in it. The pencil. Yeah, it was like three different colors. I had a hole in the, the roof because of corrosion from uh, rust. Oh, it was, on. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it and didn't leak, though. The thing was just falling apart, but I was just stoked I had a car. and. Dude, I remember the when you said the rust, I was like, I faintly remember it now. Yeah. The hole. Yeah, but then I bonded it and then repainted it, so it's just bright blue <laughs> hey that car lasted though for how old it was yeah that car lasted you know how much pot we smoked in there and that was crazy dude the stagnant smell it was like permanent hot box yeah and Gross. then whenever i had to take my mom anywhere she like i knew she i knew she could smell it but she didn't want to talk about it i remember he told me that too <laughs> he's like i remember i had to take my mom and her friend to like go out like a girl's night and then uh, i was Just i was driving like him weed. Yeah, I was driving them off, and then uh, my mom's friend was like, and "Hey, hey, Frankie, do you smoke weed? Do you smoke weed? It smells like weed in here." And then I look at my bro, mom. just hella quiet. I'm like, grown ass man. He's like, no. I couldn't lie to her. <laughs> like, it's so obvious because yeah. we'd always we'd hot box my car somewhere, so it's just <laughs> filled with weed smoke and just. He's like, yeah. Yeah, just molded into the seeds, probably. I was like, yeah, you know, just kind of, like <laughs> that car caught red-handed. That was a, that yeah. was a freaking mem- memorable, like first car. Yeah, it's just, and with the weed too, it's like something you don't really talk about with your mom, especially at such a young age. Yeah, you know, like just leave it off. They know, but you just don't want to talk about it. But we're in the same perimeter; we can hear each other. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember just mobbing around town. It was like me, you, John, Michael. Yeah. We were just smoking weed. You had this sick little wolf pipe. And we were yeah. listening to Macklemore when that Mac- CD came out. Bro, I had that CD on repeat. And yeah, it was Lamar. the one with Thrift Shop. But every time Thrift Shop came on, you would skip it every just time. because you liked the whole rest of the album. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, those I were the days. CDs. Music is crazy like that, dude. Before Sometimes I'll listen to a song during the time of uh, right after high school. I'll listen to the album that I bought. And it'll bring me back to all these memories. Like, oh, I remember this day. I remember when I was working eight hours a day and stuff. It just brings you back. Um, hello? Talking about music, so t you've been in music your whole life. Uh, how does that make you feel? <laughs> how does that make you feel? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> how does that make you feel? <laughs> Jimmy Bebs. Yeah. Cut it out. Huntre's getting Most emotional over now. here. He's, <laughs> I was trying like, to change the He said, t answers with, it was tubular. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rad, so, dude. Thinks, talking about music. So you've been playing music your whole life. How does that make you? <laughs> Do something take like cut. <laughs> Just change the subject like that. Yeah, yeah. It's uh. Sometimes it's hard being a host, man. Sometimes I draw blank. Sometimes you just keep sometimes talking. Sometimes you drink me Corona fucking lights. <laughs> sometimes you get too buzzed. Is there an extra one? Let me get an extra one. Nah, it's too warm. We killed them. Really. Damn. You guys are fiends. It's something of that. It's yeah. just like we're all homies, so it's like easy to just bring up past events. Yeah, we're just fucking kicking it. Riffing, kicking it. Nothing special. Well, you got to talk about music. Do you want to talk about music? He said that's going to be another hour. That's, not even. that's another 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes. It's all good. I mean, I, I don't really play much music anymore. T2, like after I moved. Remember? We'll talk about it. Yeah. Hit it, Frankie. <laughs> hit it frank uh, take it away so, frank uh how does music make you feel <laughs> music makes me feel alive what the is a naked <laughs> bitch this guy yeah. shout out is that wax yeah that's a spot what? i'm gonna kick put fakey on that our school lows ledge we do the line two yeah <laughs> Let's yeah. go right now. I got, flip, kick flip 50. I got my board. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I'll do uh, it in Crocs. Let's go. Let's stick to skateboarding. Let's um, go skate. Fuck it. Like, yeah, maybe we go skate. <laughs> <laughs> go fucking skate. Damn. When you think of Quit Squad, which is hanging out with us, um, what is the one core memory that that you think of? Do you, do you, can you think of anything? Maybe like a skate trip or like a. I know I'm putting you on the spot right now, but there's got to be a time where you're like, this was the moment. Or an era. An era where I felt alive, where I felt like skating was a, a, used to be a dream, but now it's kind of coming into fruition. I get to skate with the homies and film and do all these amazing, amazing videos and just hanging out and making good friends, you know? I don't know. Maybe like 
once Huntre like started like religiously hitting hitting me up, you know, to go skate and exchange numbers or maybe once we got a, like a group chat going and then it was kind of like no matter what I get hit up the group chat and maybe one person will want to go skate. Yeah. But I don't know. I always think about like fucking like your birthday parties, Frankie, yeah. like at your old apartment. Like we would hang out and fucking get drunk and drink Mickey's and put them in the window and shit. Yeah, and then like Stephen Beaupre and your dad would be crying in the backyard because yeah. they're having their little dad father moment type yeah. shit. Coy's throwing up off the balcony, which is the only time I've ever seen him get sick. And it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, fucking just talking shit, playing darts and the hunt tray being like, I could beat you in a fucking game of skate right now. And then I'm too drunk. <laughs> I'm too drunk to skate. So he wins. Yeah. And then I turn around 30 seconds later and then he's just on a fucking roof. And then, he, <laughs> <laughs> and then he fucking jumps off that bitch and then complains about his ankle the whole rest of the night. I'm like, no shit. It was a fun night. He was so, crazy. So yeah, probably just skating around and. Never happened. Yeah, that never happened. Ultimate yeah, right. Universe. No footy, no proof. The multiverse. <laughs> but yeah, probably your birthday parties because we'd all, you know, make it a point to get together and hang out and shit. And I don't know. Those are the good times, man. Those are the the best times, really. Those are the same times that I reflect on, really, because I'm like, right now, life is a weird thing, right? You're kind of just living, you just going day to day kind of thing and yeah uh, things have definitely changed since back then um i definitely miss those times yeah skating with everybody but now we all have our our jobs and we're all trying to i, I don't know what we're trying to do we're just doing something we're just doing the life thing man doing trying the life. to survive yeah but yeah i don't know just just being younger and having like zero fucking responsibilities like like, I remember it was just, like, skate, go to work, and then, like, come over to Frankie's house, meet up with Koi. We would roll some joints, and we'd go climb on the roof of the church by Enterprise. Yeah. And fucking just sit there and stare at the stars and be little fucking stoner skate rat kids. And Get yelled run at away by from, the security the guards. Yeah, run away from security <laughs> guards. Get the polar pops. They were like, hey, I know you're up there. <laughs> then we're like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> We're not up here. Yeah, yeah good times. times. We'd either, like, he'd go on one side of the, the building and we'll run off on the other side and just dip. <laughs> Luckily, we, yeah, we used to always cruise all the time on our little cruisers everywhere. Um, yeah, those are some good times, man. I just think about, like, just how hot it is during the summer and we'd just be, like, skating Bed Bath & Beyond parking lot till like, 2 in the morning and it's just, like, you know, kind of like, what are we doing? doing you know we've been skating this curb mani pad like all night for like another fucking night we've been doing this for years and then you think about it and you're like what i would do to fucking skate the bed bath and beyond mani yeah, pad with my awesome homies there. at 2 a.m dude it. it's like we were just fucking just doing it like, in lowe's ledge lowe's ledge oh my gosh looking at it, it's like baby ass curb yeah <laughs> <laughs> shitty ass curb and shout out to all the other homies that we skated with not just the quit squad but everybody that's kind of came into our life and joined the skate the skate missions that we had and you know like izzy or chris young i know you're watching this yeah, uh, shout out c-rod c-rod zach wiegan johnny scribner like just all the local dudes like yeah like especially zach and johnny they're so good but they're always like nice to me yeah. when i was a kid same with like chase childs yeah, Chris Hunt, Chris Young, like you said. I'm trying to think of others. Yeah, everybody in the skate community really played a part into you know each other's growth because we want to get better than we want to be the best crew in town was kind of the goal. Or we want to be able to you know skate around them and not get embarrassed or scared. <laughs> like uh, you know, because when you're younger, you you skate next to somebody that's really good and you, you get so intimidated intimidated at the park that you don't even want to do anything, right? Yeah, remember that back in the day. Dude, I drew, I grew up with Johnny and Zach era and their whole crew. And I was like a year older than them. And it's like, these are the best skaters I've ever seen in my life, bro. And they're like younger than me. So I kind of gave up early on about, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about <laughs> caring about like, getting good. I was just like watching them. I'm like, oh, oh my God, bro. Like even like Brandon Terry, Emmanuel. Oh my God, Brandon Devin, Terry. Devin. Uh, it's like no one. Devin Mongo. Their whole crew, Devin bro. Yeah, I'm Devin like, Mongo. 
Sue fucking. Yeah, the first time I saw Sue skate was at Caldwell. I was like, never seen this dude. And he was doing big spin heel flips on Caldwell Corner. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And then he just like went up to a random biker and picked up a bike. And then he fuck and hits (laughs) go-go. And I'm like, you can do that too? Like scooter. He can just do whatever the fuck he wants. And now he's like, I want to catch fish. And he's like, oh, I caught a fish. What's up? That dude has more hobbies than Hobby Lobby, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. that's crazy. So that crew is insane, bro. Like, Andrew Renan, they're all doing, like, kick pull back Smiths down that rail, and I'm, like, board sliding it. So I had no chance, but I just went and street skated and met these guys and just started filming and did our own thing, kind of. That's how it be, though. Everyone has their own clique, so. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's just doing the whole thing. Yeah, there's one year the Anderson contest, and they were just killing the six foot. Just like made no sense. I'm pretty sure Devin Mongo like backside, backside flip, backside, 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 backside flip big, spin. big spin. Yeah, yeah. all sitting on top of the over extension. the corner too. So oh, it like yeah. made yeah. it a gap, long ways. Yeah, with no like, runway, he just threw down one. one yeah, hand just I was on insane. the top of the six foot too, sitting on the extension. Uh-huh. I was like seeing a first person. Shortstein like, Trey flipped it. Yeah. Yep. Remember the your Short, first I've seen contest? Like two weeks ago. Was it Shasta Lake when somebody signed you guys up without you? No, no, no. You yeah, me, me, Coy, and Ethan went, uh-huh. and I was like, Coy, you should skate the contest, like, and he's like, Nah. So I fucking sign signed you. him up behind his back, <laughs> yeah. and then we're all Cold like, we're like, like sitting there, like, Coy, say ciao, and he's like, What the fuck, you motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. God like, damn it! Last like, person to go, so I was like trying to skate the bank to like faking and stuff, like skating in the middle of the hubba. Like, yeah. bank to flat, you know? Like a kicker. Yeah. But it's you were like, ready. Not even knowing what I was trying, just trying to hug something. I feel like part of you wanted to be in the contest, right? Because you probably thought before you even <laughs> kinda, knew. Kind of, but I was just intimidated. It's just the park sucks so bad that we're not used to it, and it's just... And that was the first time I was went there, so my, I, I wasn't, like, used to, like, skating the park, you know? And yeah. The park sucks. And then trying to skate, like, the, the pyramid, like, skating, like, a bank. Yeah. So steep. So steep, yeah. I know all these kids got the brand new Caldwell Park now. I'm like, I dude, know. we used to, we used to skate Caldwell without that, like just entrance and all the time. Like Low that's ball. what we learned, fucking like, just the entrance hip. They're so lucky, <laughs> but I think soon they're they're in the talks of making a new skate park at Shasta Lake. I don't know if they're upgrading or they're replacing. Yeah, they already had the meeting. I talked to Ray. I was like, how'd the meeting go? He's like, it's good. They're but gonna do it. It's just gonna be in a different spot. It's a whole new park. Oh, it's a whole yeah. new. Park. Oh, sick! I can't wait for that. Like you, can, dope, you can't destroy the like, old park. It's kind of sick. Like, five minute drive. I'm always in Chess like every day for work, so I'll just slide there after work or slide there at lunch and just. Hopefully, the dimensions of the the, the dimensions of like the obstacle is going to be like perfect, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because like we know how like obstacles should be, so how we want it. Yeah, but it might not necessarily. Anything's going to be, the way gonna be better than is. what Chess like already has. Yeah, yeah that's facts. So we'll see. And hopefully it brings up some new skaters in Shasta Lake. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's no scene out there at all. So. No skate scene, yeah. It's kind of funny, I, though. I like, drive past that park every day, and I'd, like dead. I'd maybe see, like, one like, scooter kid, like, it's it's on drugs or something, like, <laughs> yeah. just randomly. You see quadruple tail But no, nobody. <laughs> get, 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 get. <laughs> no, just chilling in the side, like, on the bench or something. Uh-oh. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, new skate park coming soon. New skate park coming soon. Just I like, mean, with you being in Eugene, you already have infinite skate parks, man. Yeah, we got plenty. And uh, I know you got to go back, go back to town tomorrow. You got literally, you have work. <laughs> yeah, at three in less than twelve hours or something. No, maybe a little bit more than twelve hours. But yeah. and you got a five-hour drive. But uh, uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming and doing the podcast. Um, about fucking time, about dude. Fucking time. <laughs> Everybody's been waiting. Remember back in the day when I used to not cuss? I know you're just thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like no monetization. Like Fifteen? <laughs> or are you talking about on YouTube? They no, no just and like me. In oh, general. in real life. Yeah, I didn't start cussing till I was sixteen. Yeah, just in general, I never really liked and it. Now it's like every other word that I say is a cuss word. So, yeah. <laughs> My apologies. It's like the way we use it, though. It's not like in a like a just random you know it's like just part of it just vocabulary. flows yeah. yeah it's just because we don't have a very good vocabulary so we just fill that void with <laughs> a bad word sometimes you gotta fill voids yeah 
and uh especially in your heart <laughs> uh you know what would fill that void is if you put some more views on the Huntry nine videos check those out true hey just go watch a five bitch beat down i got plenty of views so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hundred thousand huh? it's like a hundred i dude i checked it the other day because i was talking about it to uh, one of my coworkers. It's like 180 something thousand views. Damn. Yeah. That was for 2012. That was viral for 2012. Yeah. For <laughs> Most females that were in that video probably were seen it eventually at some point. Like, oh, yeah. Boy, ratchet. Yeah, <laughs> ratchet. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Well, they're going to sue you. But, anyways, yeah, let's uh, let's end this podcast. You got any last words to tell the people out there? Reading, Eugene, everybody you know. Utah now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all my Utah fans. Shut up. Um, I don't know. Just thank you guys. I, mean, I just was wondering, uh, are you working on any more uh, projects, skate skate wise, or um, right possibly now? possibly filming another video? Uh, the homie Tim's trying to do like a project with some people in the local community, so I'm trying to get clips for that. I do have a bunch of footage that I need to get off of a computer and drop apart and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So that's also in the works, but computer issues. Yeah, and then we we got the hard drive off of it, and only only like eighty percent of the footage was on the hard drive, oh. so we need to capture technical more tapes. Difficulties. Yeah, more Sounded technical like difficulties. Well, hopefully um, you can get those squared they're away. They're in the works. Yeah. But yeah, so stay tuned. If you want to watch me skate, follow me on Instagram. I bet they'll plug it right um, there somewhere. Your local <laughs> Chevy dealer. Yeah, go watch my parts. They're they're on my YouTube. Shoulda woulda coulda. I had another one with a amazing filmer. He lives in Portland now, and his name is Taryn Gilbert. But he has some yeah, amazing, yeah, amazing full-length videos. And uh, I was lucky enough to film a part with him before he split with Eugene. So we got some some sick footage. And he's a VX filmer, so he's just got good style and hype dude to be around. So oh, yeah. yeah, go watch my shit. And then if you're up in the area, hit me up and let's skate. Go swim in the river or something. Yeah. Yes, sir. Fuck yeah. Make it happen. What do you guys? You got anything to say, Koi? I mean, you pretty much explained it yourself. Our upbringing and how we reunited, you know? Yeah. Up until now, like, it's good to, like, talk with, like, old friends, you know? Kind yeah. Of stories. It's crazy how fast it went by. But, uh, all right, guys. Thanks for checking out this episode or listening, watching, whatever you are. And uh, tune in next time. Fuck yeah. Munch gang. Peace. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Quit squad for life.